never know. Okay, <laughs> look, after what they did at, uh, on the Umbrella Academy the last season. Oh, you watched it! You watched that hate crime! Of time. My time and my soul! That was a total waste of time. That was horrible. I want to scream. Season. Oh, my I, goodness. And you, know, I, you know what I realized, actually? After watching a lot of YouTube videos about it, I realized maybe I'm not the target audience. Because I, because a lot of people also hate it, but I was like, your reasons are not enough for me. For me, yeah, no, Umbrella no, 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 Academy no, no. was an that, argument for suicide. That, that season shouldn't have existed. Like, Dog. It shouldn't have happened. Dog, imagine the moral, moral of your story is these trauma, these kids that are dealing with their trauma. The answer for their trauma is that they shouldn't have existed in the first place. They should are end you, up being are, marigolds. Are you, are you crazy? Dog. Oh, is that how you think it ends? Bruh. You think it's a reset. The, before, despite that, no? Yeah. Five and Miguel's wife. Oh, dog. The really? same five that killed me uh, that killed her parents. That killed Miguel's wife's parents. Exactly. And not just that. You saw this kid grow. I know that he's 90 something yeah. years old. Yes. Stuck in a kid's body, but mm -hmm. still, you saw this kid grow. Like mm -hmm. this is your brother in law, right? Yep. And don't even get me started on the whole um shit. On the and whole... number one never really feels like number one throughout the entire series. Don't number even one me... never feels like the leader, bro. Number one is such a waste of a character. Oh my god. He they never did... became defined. They as did a that whole Cyclops thing on number one, dog. The yep. entire time. When he's yep. supposed to lead, he doesn't. And when he does, it's so it's so small that you don't even feel like that is leading. The truth it's is, number crazy. one probably should have died in like season three, and they should have just kept him dead. Because uh, clearly there's nothing happening with him. Oh, man. Oh, and then, oh. but wait, but not even that. Just remember this. Number five has basically dedicated his entire life with a stone-faced focus. Yes. Without blinking on yes. making sure his family's okay. Yes. And then he cheats on... And he does it, and he does it as a loner the entire time. Yeah. That's why his storylines are always more interesting than any other character, in my opinion. Because... Yeah. Even when he helps save the day, he doesn't explain what he was doing, where he was all along. What... Yeah, because they wouldn't understand. Exactly. They don't understand him. Do you know yes. what I mean? Yes. Because he's been through hell, and they don't get it. They don't. They couldn't possibly yes. understand, even if they, even if they tried. Yeah. Like he showed up. Remember when he fucking murders the entire, um, what you call it, the time council or whatever it was called. Yes. yes. Just by himself. Yeah. And then he, like, he has to deal with that afterwards and the family can't even comprehend what's happening. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just, and he's always been like this person who's like, his one focus, if it's not Dolores, it's at the very least, you know, Dolores the doll. Um, yeah. Then it's at the very least his family, at the very yes. least. He's got yes. that going for him. Right. Nope, they take it away from him, dog. And they make him cheat on thing, And then they make sure that the situation never gets resolved. Yeah. They just all get unpersoned. Because my thing is, Okay, sure. I could have dealt with this horrible series, I mean, season, if Miguel, no, not Miguel, Diego, if Diego yeah. and Five resolve their ish. Did this thing end with them, like, not really having resolved their ish? Is no. that that they had to forgive each other because they were dying? They had to, they first, they, they first fought and then Five just left. Do you know what I mean? Ah! What a, way to, what a way to ruin a beautiful series. Dog, dog. And it's so funny because Five is like, they're all, the, the whole world's coming to an end. They're all fighting, this fighting blob. And then Five just leaves. Look, and also, if, I'm, if I'm being, if I'm being, guys, please forgive don't us. Don't you dare defend this. Let's no, share this. There's no. nothing good about this. Okay, no, let's hear No, no, if, if, if I have, to, like, according, not according to the comics, because according to the comics, number one is number one, yeah. right? Just like how they were doing the whole backstory thing, flashback, where you see number one being number one. Mm -hmm. But if I were to watch this now and not know about the comic at all, I would say five is actually number one. Victor is number two. Yeah. Um, Diego is probably number three. Mm -hmm. Allison actually. is number four. And then... Uh, Number one is number five, and then Ben is number six, as usual. Dog, and it's oh no, no, Klaus, Klaus, Klaus is Klaus is number five. 
One is six, and then Ben is seven. My poor Klaus. My oh, poor, Klaus was poor just Klaus. a useless. And I think that's why it lacked the source, because Klaus was not Klaus. Yeah. Now, what? Victor is screaming the entire season. He's just angry at everyone. He's crowding. Nigga, I get it. You're a man now, but I'm going to need you to calm down with that testosterone, Relax. boy. I'm going to need you to calm down. Dog, oh <sighs> my god. And then I think the oh. only character the only character that seems to have been written okay. I'm really gonna hate what you're about to say, yeah. Is Allison. Like in everybody else, no. The only thing that Allison didn't have was that I had a room of power, but apart from that, no, she, she didn't remember she could do it with her eyes now, she didn't have to talk anymore. She seemed fine. She was a mom and all of that. Like she she seemed fine. It says it, there's a storyline about the world coming to an end, and you just in your best description was she's a mom. Fantastic. <laughs> no, Whoa, that's okay. useful. Okay, what I'm saying is she didn't <laughs> seem that yeah. much out of place like everybody else. Okay, first of all, she wasn't doing anything. Number one, well, right? She only she used her power. Do, she, she doesn't do anything. <laughs> she's the one that basically kills um the father number in, in the okay, last in, season, in, in the last and season, she's yes. the bad guy. Because she works with him in the first yes. place. So yes. she's the bad guy. Yes. She's the antagonist. And then in the season before... Well, she like, okay, to be fair, Victor was the bad guy in the first yes. one. Yes. Well, more like the to abuser. She was... Oh, no. Oh, sorry, you mean Victor. Sorry, yes. Um, yes, but you almost understood in a way. There were... Tr- it was because... You no, but even with number three, one. you also understand. Like, she wanted her daughter. Okay, but Did look, you know? Victor... She, Victor wasn't purely the bad guy, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she was like, she was reacting to her powers, which she'd never been taught how to deal with, despite the fact that everyone was given a chance to deal with theirs. Yeah, but how many villains are like that in a lot of media? Uh, mm-hmm. But like, I like the fact that there were all these people dealing with all their trauma, and they were so busy dealing with all their trauma, they couldn't help Victor properly. And then it led to Victor accidentally ending the world. I love that. I think Look, that's so fucking I think- cool. I think out of the siblings, there are, I could say, maybe four characters that I know are incorruptible. incorruptible. One, five, yes, Diego, and Klaus. These four. I, okay, Diego, he's not he's not corruptible, but he is trickable. I feel like you could accidentally talk him into being the bad guy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Because like, Diego is so dumb. Yeah, for me, they Diego's like a Wolver- he's like Wolverine, man. That's how I see him. He's a more stupid like a version of Wolverine, yes. Yeah. He's a stupid version of Wolverine. And you could oh, dog. And also just a random one. What's her, what's her name again? Number five, number Diego's wife. What's her name? I forgot her name, man. Flip. Whatever, Diego's wife. Um <laughs> oh, no, is it man. Me? We, we, can't, we can't do that. I know we can't do that. I know. Because uh, I love her. She's a great actress. No, oh, yo, but she brings it, hey? Eh? Oh, she does. Every but can single I ask you a time, question. Actually. There's a part, right, when they're fighting everyone in the city, right? And she has the laser eyes or whatever. And then they which, get the t- which didn't make sense. I don't know why she had those. I also don't know why she did. Like everyone else had like an evolution of a power, and then hers was just laser eyes. Did she meet Superman? Is it Lila? Yeah, Lila. Lila, yes. Did yeah. you think something was going to happen with Lila? Because there's a part right where they're all sitting together, and of course, what's Ben is just being a douchebag. Yo, I hated Ben. Yo. Alternate, alternate reality, Ben sucks. He's the worst thing that's ever happened in history of ever. He's a spoiled kid. He's just a piece of shit that never gets better. Bro, I actually was looking for, like, when you saw how it ended with him in Mm -hmm. Tokyo or wherever he was in Korea in the the train, I was like, we're finally going to get Ben, and probably this is Mm. the Ben that we've always wanted to see all along. The one that was interacting with Klaus all along. Yes, we're finally going to get Klaus. Yeah, yeah. We just get the worst person who does the worst things that leads to the biggest problem and ends the world without any... You know what? Never mind. But my point is, there's a scene where they're all sitting together, right, at the mechanic, right, trying to get when the car's getting fixed. Yes, yeah. And she's acting crazy and weird. Did you notice her, right? They'll, like, cut to every now and then. She's in the mm. background, like, playing with a hammer or whatever. And mm. like, is something about to happen with her? Nope. Nope. Turns out nothing was about to happen to Bro, her. Bro, there's a lot of things that should have happened but never happened. The minute they took the brothers to the CIA headquarters, I was like, mm-hmm. you guys are, you guys have clearly have no idea what you're doing here. Yep. There was you no remember? point. Yeah, and then it ends with them just going home and going, hey, guys, does anyone remember what the plot is? 
And then I was like, oh yeah, that's right, the plot. And then they go to the place. Yeah. And they even get there accidentally, so remember? Pretty much, yeah. Because yes. five got them there. Yeah, they were lost. And then they like accidentally park right in front of the bad guys. <laughs> Oh that's how lost they were wow you know this feels like game of thrones this feels like the actual comic book story writers were like no nah, you guys got this i mean you guys have been right you guys have been following the comics you did the hotel thing you did vanya thing you know you got this hey dog it's oh my god and for me i think the most offensive thing had to be the klaus thing like that one hurt my feelings because I liked the fact that they went from they took Klaus from one extreme to another extreme. Yeah. Where he went from being like scared to being hurt at all, from being immortal and not caring about death to yeah. being scared to being hurt is such a clever idea. Right. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. brilliant. Right. And then they force him back his I like the idea of like, okay, Klaus is the only one who doesn't have his powers. Let's see what's about to happen. Nope. They force the powers onto him. And like, okay, cool. There's going to be a whole drama now with Klaus and so and so, where Klaus has to try and pick himself up without the drugs and yeah. still have his powers and be like, right. don't worry, Klaus. Years have passed. You're going to prove yourself to be a. Nope, 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 nope. Grabs a TV, goes to get himself killed, gets himself kidnapped, becomes a prostitute and a. That crackhead. whole arc, that whole arc, what didn't make sense, bro. That whole arc with him and the dealer made no sense to me. And it took so long, and it was such a distraction. And yo, know, I think I was actually offended by that <laughs> one. Like that one, that one hurt my feelings. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was a, it was a waste of a season, man. Dog. Because all of those people are brilliant actors. Dog. I've always had issues with Umbrella Academy, to be honest, because I always felt like they didn't do it justice, even though I never read the comic. Mm. But because I've done research on the comic, I felt like it could have been done better. But oh, even with yeah. what we got, it was still really good. That's why I watched everything. Mm. But because hey, let me give you an example, guys. Yeah. I know, and I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do time codes, okay? I'm gonna do time codes. So if this is not your cup of tea, just skip to where we continue with Karate Kid. Season two, right? It ends with them going to the Sparrow Academy. Yeah. Season three, when it starts, you think they're gonna face each other off or whatever? They dance, bro. I'm like, what's this? <laughs> and it's what's so funny. This? When you go on YouTube, everyone's like, the most iconic parts about it is the dancing. It's like, no, because I was asking myself, like, one, what are you going to do? Yeah. No. Yeah. It, look, sometimes they make you feel like an idiot for going, I'm sure there's a story here. Let's see what's about to happen. You know what I mean? But yeah. they do it in such a way that you don't care. You're still yeah. having fun. Yeah. Oh, this one, I cared, and I was not having fun. Yeah, no, because they, they did it throughout the entire series. Yeah. I mean, the, I think in a better storyline, like, the car thing would have been fucking hilarious if it was in a better season. But the baby you know shark I mean? thing. Yeah, that would have been hilarious, so much funnier if I wasn't so angry. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, The two twin bad guys, so much funnier. In a better show, I fuck, I love Ron Burgundy, and the Wait, and the lady they, from Will and Grace. Twins? I thought aren't they like a couple? No, they're husband wife. Sorry, the husband wife combo. Yeah. Um, I love Ron Burgundy. Is that mm-hmm. a, that's his name in Parks and Rec? Right? In, in Parks and Rec, yeah. And the yeah. lady from Will and Grace. Will I think they're a couple in real life. Actually, I think they're married think, in real life. And that's what I'm sorry to understand, right? Because I didn't know that. that... Yeah, yeah, I knew that a while back. Like 10 years ago or something. Fantastic. Combination I never knew I needed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I I just so feel like they, they just didn't they fit here. Because at one minute you're like, they're villains. At another you're like, why are they letting the good guys go? I don't yeah. get it. And, yeah. and then at first you're like, oh, okay, it's all according to plan. Right? When they let the, them go, right? Right. And they remember like there's a part where they, like, they escape through the hole and you're like, ah, Job's done. And they shoot the other guy for no reason. And then afterwards, like the next episode, they're like, oh no, they got away. What do you mean? Oh no, they got away. You let them get away. What's yeah, because they seem so nonchalant about it. Like, oh no, they got yes. away. I'm like, what's, what's happening? <laughs> do you not know? 
who wrote the next episode? What's Did he going die? On, Did the last writer die before the next episode? Dog, I was mad. Oh, they're trying to make it seem like Diego has a dead board and he doesn't, and I'm like, oh, that's another complaint I heard. Yeah, it's like, do you guys know what a dad bod is? <laughs> Dude still looks the same. He still looks well, the exact yeah. same. He's fine. Yeah, put a fake belly on him. Go to Martin's house. I'm sure the big mama's house outfit is still there. Put that on him then. And then he'll look like he has a dad bod. You know what I mean? Dog. And then they gave him this coolest superpower of all time. And he never used it after the first time. He used it twice, I think, in the whole movie. Oh, why, why he deflects the bullets? Well, he controls bullets. He, he basically controls all projectiles. Why did that's he, the didn't idea. he do the same thing in like season two or something? I think he did a version. I think, no, the thing is he can kind of control projectiles, I believe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like mm-hmm. That's why his throwing knives always work. Yeah. So he, on a low level, he can do that. But he's never been able to absorb a fucking machine gun. Yeah. That's never been a thing. Right. Like the ma- like the mailbox thing. I feel like yeah. that was his power. That's his yeah. normal power, where he was like throwing stuff and then. But but like other people's projectiles, I have a feeling that was the evolution of his power. Wow. Do you know what right. I mean? Right. I think that was his evolution. I could be wrong, but that's how I, that's how I that's my head cannon for it. Oh my god, dog. Oh, yeah. And they just. And then here's another thing. Here's another thing that got, that was so confusing. Because first they're like, Diego is the inattentive parent. Then how was he the one who knew about the, the paper mache thing where he was like, oh no, who arranged the party then? Where he seemed to be the one who was arranging the party, right? Yeah. To the point where when she showed up with the wrong um, pinata, the pe- oh, yeah, pinata, the pinata, yeah. Yeah. She was like, no, man. He was like, no, this is the wrong pinata. Yeah. And then later on, it's like, oh, you see, you've been very inatt- in- inattentive with your family. And it's like, woman, you've literally been inter- infiltrating a spy organization. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who's the inattentive one here? What am I missing? It sounds like they both want something else, but they're both being called out for it. That what season is, is, bo- is, is just an F you to the viewers, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, that season is a whole F you to the viewers. Do you know what happened? The first group, the first, there were there were two groups. They were said the first three episodes are here. You do whatever you want with that. You just fill it in, and it gave another group three episodes. Don't need to know what's happening with these guys. Just kind of do your own uh, thing on this side. They, you give know it, I mean? they, they give it that, the whole Star Wars treatment. Because that's what it feels like. Because you can't tell me that the one didn't know about the other one, and then even the cheating angle. Where it's like Diego thinks you're cheating on him. I'm not cheating on him. I love him. <laughs> yeah, what I feel like happening? I feel like that should have just been a moment where, and I think I saw one of the the people review this saying that could have been one moment where Lila and Five actually just bond as relatives, not as a couple. You know what I mean? What should have happened? Yes, because again, number five murdered Lila's parents in one of the earlier seasons yes. when he was an old man and an assassin, if I'm correct. Right. And then she, and then the Lila was picked up by the time people and then trained to be an assassin. Yes. If I remember correctly, that's the flow of time. Right. Cool. Um, so then let's over six years, let's settle that. That's what that storyline should have been. Yeah. Let's settle that. We forgive and we forget. Right. We forgive and we love each other. That's what that should have been about. Nope. Fuck you for thinking that would happen. It should have been a thing of, because it actually wasn't. Also, don't forget, they never actually forgave um, a rumor chick. They never forgave her. Allison. Or yeah. trying to take over the world. I mean, eventually they did. Did you see it? I saw, well, number one obviously has or always have a thing for Allison. So yes. I saw him. Klaus already did a long time ago. Victor yes. doesn't care anymore. He even said it himself that, dude, I don't care. Okay, but come on, dog. That's not actual forgiveness. Five clearly doesn't give a crap anymore. No, but also Lila made it clear that, dude, these people don't care anymore. Just come to the party. They don't care. Exactly. And that's terrible. We're talking about a group of people who are so self-obsessed with their own trauma that when they're given a trauma event by the people they trust the most, 
they just get over it off screen. Also, why is Ben the one that was so obsessed about the powers as if he's been there all along? See, he needed to be an asshole. That's the only logical explanation. Why? Needed... I don't know why Ben has to be an asshole. Like, I don't it know. It could have but... been Ellison. Like, it would have made sense if Ellison was the one because maybe yeah. she didn't get them to forgive her and then, like, then she gives them the powers back because, like, she feels like she's the one that take the power the, took the powers from them. It would yes. have made sense that, that way. That would have made more sense. It would have been more of an, they're overcompensating. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And that's kind of how story te- that's how good storytelling works, especially when it comes to like these story, these character based trauma storylines. Is that sometimes what happens is you overcompensate, you overcompensate, you overcompensate, you overcompensate right. until you reach an equilibrium. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's normally how these things work. Yeah. Instead, season four didn't do that at all. <sighs> Dog. I think actually. And I could be wrong, but I think this entire project was probably affected by the strike. Um, that's number one. That's something that everyone pretty much agrees with. But to be fair, that was technically season three. Season three was impacted by the strike. That's why they're all in one room. Have you noticed most of that season is like in one location? Most of yeah, it. Yeah, it's the hotel thing, but it's yeah. from the comics, though. That's from the comics. Yeah, but, then but the strike was more at that time. But, uh, but that's, was, you know, that's yeah. also why I think maybe it's season four because. Yes, season three might have been affected, but maybe it still went on to the season four thing because there's uh, people, no way. People I are mean, saying I feel, that... I feel the same way about Cobra Kai. Yeah. The se- season the season that came before this season was mm-hmm. Goofy AF, bro. It was not the same level of Cobra Kai. Actually, for me, that's the worst season of Cobra Kai. Well, so far to me, honestly, that's why I kind of stopped watching Cobra Kai right now. I think I'm about three episodes in. Yeah. Um. And to me, this kind of feels goofy. For me, like, this for is me, not as bad as the one before this one. Like the one before this one, because remember, the writers were forced to write two seasons yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Uh, because they were busy with another movie or project or whatever. So uh, I think they were just put under so much pressure that it it really messed up the, the well, quality me, of. Yeah. The only thing that was for me that was nonsensical was the father angle, where that like went somewhere for like two episodes and then vanished. <laughs> I'm glad we did that. That for me, that was frustrating. Definitely. The father angle, Miguel's father, dude. Two episodes and it's done. Did he die? What happened to that dude? No, they just left. And that was it, right? Yeah, yeah. They saved the father's life, right? And they yeah. hung out with the father in the thing, and then in that little room or whatever in the safe house. And then Miguel was like. Yeah, this guy, I don't like this guy. And then they were like, you know, just take me home, bro. And then I was like, all right, cool, let's go. And then that was it. And that's it. And that's it. I'm like, oh, I, oh, Miguel's father's about to follow him home. This is about to get real. Let's see what happens. No, I'm an idiot for thinking harder than the writers. But I think one thing I've realized about, I saw this uh, with The Good Wife like 10 years ago, where one of the main characters, uh, played by Achi Punjabi, she had a husband in season four. And that thing was not working, bro. It was not. By the way, the actors are brilliant. The guy that came as the husband is brilliant. Achi Banjabi is brilliant. Is brilliant. But it was just not working. Even the writers admitted that it was not working. So I think maybe that's what happened. They saw that this father thing is not working. Not the act. The actors are not the issue. Mm. The story itself is just not working. So nip it in the bud while it's still early and leave it there. 100%, that is possible. Anyway, 